hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing um, a half up half down style the back of the hair is going to be in crochet and then the front is going to be in cornrows um, but before we get into that which we are already into it if you are not a subscriber please go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification which is the bell right next to the subscribe button um, so that whenever I post you guys will get the update so right now all I am doing is just sectioning the hair the sectioning the hair into two and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the cornrows going straight back for the back so you can do straight back cornrows you can do it in circles however you prefer but I prefer to do it straight back because it kind of give it like a natural look um, so for the first cornrows I'm just gonna do that going round because I don't like doing it all the way down to the back um, I don't know if that makes sense because I don't like when the hair is like pulling on the client I'm sorry if I don't like when the hair is pulling on the client the back is like pull you know how when you have cornrows and then the back is like pulling you I don't like that so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the first one going round and then for the rest of them I'm just gonna do it going straight back and then once I am done just connect all of them I've done this several times in my crochet videos so if you guys want to see like actual details of it I have many videos of that up and also the cornrows do not have to be big depending on the hair that you are using if the hair you're using is more on the kinky side then you can get away with big cornrows because those are very easy to secure but if you are using hair that is like really silky like the free trees water wave or the you know all those all those silky hair then you would need to do the cornrows small but because the brace that I am using is on is more on the kinky side we are going to do the cornrows big I think we had a total of I believe eight if not less corn rows um, the hair that we were using is the free tris ringlet I think I'm saying it right ringlet curls and that hair is more on the kinky side so yeah I'm just gonna do the cornrows straight back and that's it So now that we are done with the cornrows, I'm just going to go ahead and crochet the, I guess you can call it like the leftover, <laughs> the leftover braids inside the rest of the cornrows just to secure it. Okay, so the hair that we are using is the Model Model Wand Curl and this is the Ziggy Curl. I don't know where I got free trips from, but um, we're just going to go ahead and crochet that in. Of course, you guys already know. When crocheting, you want to make sure that you insert your needle through the actual braid and not through the client's um, hair. I don't know if that makes sense. So, like, instead of placing the crochet right under the coil row, you can, you're supposed to place it through a braid. I don't know if that makes sense. But see how I placed it through, like, you know, the the, the cornrow itself, I didn't literally place it under her scalp. You're not supposed to do that because that can end up pulling or like ripping your client's hair and you don't want that. So this hair is very easy to secure. Like literally I just did two knots, not knots, but I did the loop twice and then that was it. For some parts I did do two knots 
I did do a knot after I did the loop but honestly you could just get away with doing the two loops because it's so easy to just it stays because the hair is very kinky not very kinky but it's more on the kinky side done with the crochet part I use one and a half pat to do this it doesn't need to be filled in but I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in fill it in with the remaining of the hair that was left um, it doesn't really require a lot of hair since the back is the only part that was you know being crocheted so only one and a half pat so basically just get two packs and you will have a half left because it comes in two in a Bag. So they have like two different um, bundles in the pack. Look at my elbow, yo. Like, <sighs> anyways, we're not going to talk about it. So anyways, we're just going to move on to the cornrows. I don't know why my elbows look that ashy. I think because I was cleaning prior to doing her hair. This is my friend, by the way. So, you know, I didn't have to be all professional and whatnot. So, with, and that's why I'm also showing her face because she doesn't mind and also she's my friend. The reason why most of the time when I do great, I don't show my client's face is because A, they don't want their face to be showed because they don't want people talking about them, which is understandable because some of you can be really messy. So, I can definitely understand why they don't want their face being shown, but she's my friend. She's okay with it. So, that's why her face is being shown. Um, we're just going to start off with the cornrows and for the cornrows, I am using expression and I used one pack for the cornrows I used the Gina collection pre-stretch expression hair and this is in color one Feeding cornrows are not that difficult to do. I don't think they are. Um, it's just a matter of knowing when to add hair and when not to add hair, which I, which I am still like learning. I'm not that really good at it. I'm not a professional on it yet, but I feel like with anything, the more you keep doing it, the more you're going to learn 
or the more you're going to get better. So basically, um, if you can master doing feed in cornrows, you can do your own hair. Because when I'm doing my own hair, this is exactly how I grip. I grip as though I was doing cornrows because I can't grip the back of my hair like I would grip the front or I would grip a client's hair. So once you master doing cornrows or feeding cornrows, whatever, you will be able to do your own box braids. So um, let me know if you guys want me to do a more detailed video on how to cornrow. I can definitely do that for you guys. Yo, my elbows need help. I don't know why. Why, Maddie, why? I don't know why or how that's even possible, but that's it. Let me again let me know if you guys want me to do a video on cornrows. My elbows looking like I was playing in powder or something. This is crazy. Those of you who are going to be commenting, oh my god, that looks like it hurts. Oh my god, that looks so painful. Yes, it hurts. It's cornrows. Cornrows usually hurt. I mean, I think any braids usually, you know, hurt or feel a little bit tender or hurt. It hurts. So please keep that comment to yourself. Thank you. and put it up for her and then that's it this is a very cute style like I've had this once I did it of course I did it myself but I've done it to my own hair once um, I didn't film that if you guys want to see how you can do it for yourself let me know and then I can film myself doing mine but this is a pretty like very very pretty little cute style you can do for your daughter you can do for yourself I am honestly obsessed with it so let me let me know if you guys want to see me create this look on myself um that's it guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe share let me know what you think and i will see you in my next tutorial have a blessed night day whatever time you get to see this have that blessed time thank you so much i'll see you in my next video